All right. Uh, sorry for the handheld camera work here, but uh, here's a, uh, a GAL program. It's just a 4-bit counter, a real standard, just 4-bit counter, uh, made for a, a 16V8 part. Um, so uh, let me uh, show you another page here. Uh, this is the uh, programmer uh, set up for a 16V8. And um, I'm going to do this uh, video with two different parts, a, a 16V8D part, and I have some very strange uh, 16V8Z parts. And here's data sheet for these strange 16V8Z parts. Um, and they supposedly don't, they have a 100 microamp uh, quiescent current. And I don't know how they decide to do that or when they decide to do that, but uh, I'll show you that uh, you can get into trouble using these type of parts. All right, so I have uh, the uh, GAL 16V8, um, the D version, uh, in the board here. And we have some uh, monitor LEDs on this side. Um, and we have uh, the clock running into pin one. And so we can turn this on. And I think you can see that it's doing what it's supposed to do. Um, counting in binary, four bits, and everything worked great. So that's easy. So let's try the uh, 16V8Z part. Our Z part. Uh, let's see. The Z part has short legs, so let me put it on a socket. All right. The, it had clipped leads on it. Sometimes when you buy parts, they're they're clipped leads. Sometimes they're long leads. Um, anyway, putting it on a socket, the, the the legs are now long enough to hit into the prototype board. They're fine for a regular PC board, but they just won't fit in a. Uh, in one of these type of boards. Put that in. Okay, let's turn it on. Let's take a look and see how it's working. <laughs> you can see it doesn't do anything. In fact, if you uh, um, what I found was uh, very strangely, if I put it on, um, let me zoom out a bit. So this uh, has a. Uh, 555 generator and it brings out a clock and not clock. If I move it over to not clock, um, you can see that it seems to be working, uh, but it doesn't work on clock. Uh, it's very strange and uh, you can see that it doesn't always work. Uh, it'll skip. So it'll work fine and then it'll, it'll not count once. Uh, it'll do weird it'll do weird things. So anyway, um, there's something strange about the Z parts. Um, and the particular programmer I have uh, has settings for the A, the B, the C, and the D parts but not the Z parts, which are these weird, weird parts. So anyway, word of caution, going to the junk store. Well, you can't buy these things new anymore, I don't think. You have to get them at the junk store. So if you're getting a GAL 16V8s, get the D version, I guess. Uh, they're the newest ones. Um, although I don't think there's much difference for product, you know, for home stuff for the A, B, and the Cs. Um, anyway, uh, this part did not absolutely did not work in the uh, single board computer. Um, <laughs> it just didn't work. And like I said, it's got this really funny clock thing going on and other problems. So um, um, there must be something, some special fuses that you have to set inside the Z part to make it act more like a, a, an old part and not do the power saving stuff. Um, but um, anyway, I know that uh, don't, don't use the Z, Z parts.